Another place you can look to find potential markets um, to see if they're a good idea to enter a uh, hot niche is general directory websites. And I've selected dmoz.org. It's just uh, one example of a general directory website. There's uh, plenty more of these types of websites where they or organize everything into categories. So you've seen websites, Yahoo does this too, uh, where you can just browse through categories of websites. And these aren't necessarily commercial websites, these are just websites on different topics. But if you browse through websites on different topics, you can get ideas for what kind of market to enter in. If through all this research, every step you go through, you see the same types of things popping up, well, you start to get the sense that maybe this is a good market to be in because you notice, wow, man, I've seen tons of sites on motorcycles or I've seen tons of sites on um, how to you know, knit a basket or whatever thing that you keep seeing pop up. And when it's something that maybe you're already knowledgeable about or you already have an interest in, you're going to kind of see the things that appeal to you. So when you're doing all this research, it is going to kind of lead you down the road that you're meant to go on because you're going to be prone to investigate the stuff that you kind of have an innate interest in. And that will probably be a more successful project because, after all, uh, you should have fun while you're making money. You shouldn't just do something just to make money. Um, you can do something that makes you a ton of money and you have a lot of fun and it's rewarding for you. And it's not all about the money. Uh, Donald Trump even said, if you do what you love, the money will come. I'm not sure if that's an exact quote, but I know he said something very similar to that. So since I'm the one searching, I'm just going to click on business because business is pretty cool. I think it's pretty exciting. So you just look at these different categories, accounting, business, and society. Let's click on e-commerce. You can click on anything you want when you do it, but I'm clicking on the things that interest me. And you just go through here and... I'll click on marketplaces. Okay, so this is a bit of a dead end. I don't see anything really exciting to me here. Um, we can go back to the main DMOZ page and let's click on health. And we can click on alternative health because that's definitely a nice little category of websites and just click on acupuncture and Chinese medicine and click on acupuncture and who knows maybe you know somebody who's a, a registered acupuncturist or maybe you are and you start seeing all these websites and you say wow man I could do a product on acupuncture or maybe you could interview some experts and learn some general tricks for people I'm not sure if acupuncture would be a good thing to do but you know, when you browse around in here you start to see things and, you know, I wouldn't necessarily do acupuncture, but if I spent an hour or two in here, I'd start to get some ideas. And you just have to train your brain to start seeing ideas everywhere you go. And I'm just giving you some tools to help you look for ideas so that once you're receptive to them, once you're looking for them, I'm just showing you the right places to look. But really, you can go anywhere and find ideas. Um, I don't usually go to these type of directory websites, but I think they're a great place to go get ideas if you need them. So if you like to use these types of websites, feel free to take advantage of them um, or use any of the other tips that I'm giving you here.